Okay, here's two good gas law questions. Um, I've got things set up, so we just have to plug stuff in. 21 liter sample, so I'm calling that V1 liter. Sample is at STP. Oh, standard temperature is um, 273.15 Kelvin, and standard pressure is 100.0 kilopascals. Okay, uh, they don't say any gas is changing, so that's out. And then they say they heat it to 55 degrees Celsius. Oh, I gotta fix that. So 273.15 plus 55. That'd be 8, 12, 328, 15. So they heat it to 328.15. Um, and the pressure is 605 torr. Ooh, 605 torr. I've got problems here because those are um, different, and I have to make them the same. I'm actually going to get rid of this one here because I want to make it the same. Let's do the calculation on that. So 605 torr multiplied by the ratio. So I think it's 760.0 torr is the same as 101.325 kilopascals. So those cancel. Let me multiply and divide that. So I get 605 times 101.325. Divide 760. So in kilopascals, it's 80. 0.6600, etc. Um, and that's kilopascals. So they crank up the temperature, but then they um, change the pressure. Well, the, the pressure decreases. That's interesting. So they must have changed the volume. The volume has to go up. Because if they increase the temperature, it's going to try and push the volume up. And also, if the pressure goes down, the volume has to go up. So, yeah, it's got to get bigger. Anyway, this is what we're looking for. So, one of the problems here is I've got two things that are changing. So, the pressure and the temperature are changing. And the volume uh, also apparently is changing, but we don't know what it is. So when you take a look at the laws over here, I don't see any of those laws that actually will, will work for all three of them. So you need to use a combined gas law. And that one is P1V1 over, um, yeah, just a sec. P1V1 over T1N1 is equal to P2V2 over T2N2. So pressure and volume are inversely related. And the temperature and the number of moles are directly related to volume. And apparently they're directly related to pressure too. Okay, but now the moles aren't changing, so I don't have to use those moles in my uh, formula. Let me take them out. So I'm looking for V2, and V2 is right there. So my formula will be V2 is equal to P1V1T2 divided by T1P2. Okay, so you, when you're solving for this one there, this is the cross. So multiply all those and then divide by what's in the same cross is the thing that you're looking for. Okay, so P100 kilopascals, volume 1, 21.7 liters times T2. Temperature 2, 328.15 Kelvin. That was Kelvin. I converted that right. Yeah. Divided by T1. That was our STP. That's um, 273.15 Kelvin. Times my pressure 2 is 80.66 kilopascals. Let's just check units here. 
Kilo Pascal's goal, Kelvin's goal. My final unit is liters. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, bring out the calculator. I'm going to pause and I'll do the calculation. Okay, once I do the calculation, I come out to a second volume as 32.320, etc. liters. I need to convert things to two sig figs that go there. I, um, yeah, with sig figs with temperature, um, if you're adding like this, oh no, it would still be zero decimal places. So it'd have to be two sig figs. So I'd say 32 liters. So up here, interesting. This one's just a hair out, but that's the one I would go with. Um, I just took a look uh, to see if uh, any of my numbers were wrong. And I, I'm pretty sure that they are correct unless I made a mistake with uh, that. But I think, I think those numbers are correct too. So I'm not sure why we're out. Like we're out, out half a liter. I guess we're not out. I'm saying that they're out. Okay, here's a, another question that we can try. Okay, gas originally occupies 10.1 liters, so volume 10.1 liters at 0 0.925 atmospheres and 25 degrees Celsius. So that's 298.15 Kelvin. It's changed to 15 liters at 625 torr. Well, what's with that again? 625 torr. So I have to multiply that by 760 tor is the same for atmosphere as one atmosphere. Okay, calculator. Oh, Sherry reminded me about insulin. 625 times divided by 760. So the pressure is 0 0.8. Two two three six eight four two uh, atmospheres. So the uh, pressure went down a little bit, volume went up. That sort of makes sense. And they say, what's the new temperature? What's T two? They're not losing any moles, so that's not part of the question. Again, these formulas uh, by themselves don't work, but a combination will work. So P one V one over T one. P2, V2 over T2. And this time I'm solving for T2. So T2 is going to be equal to T1, P2, V2 over P1, V1. Again, remember that you, what you're looking for, it goes on the side by itself, multiply the other cross, and then you divide it by the stuff that's across from the T2. Okay, so let's plug things in. T1 uh, 298.15 Kelvin. P2, 0 0.8223684 atmospheres times V2, 15 liters, divided by P1, 0 0.925 atmospheres times V1, 10.1 liters. Okay. Let me do my calculator. Oh, liters cancel, atmospheres cancel. Left with Kelvin, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, look, they gave Celsius. So we have to convert to Celsius at the end. All right, so uh, that times... Okay, so I'm getting 393.6673 Kelvin. So if I subtract 273.15, that gives me a temperature of 120.517 degrees Celsius. Okay, sig figs, 3, 2, 3, 3. 
So I better go with two. So if it's two, I guess I would just have to say, so is it closer to 120 or 130? It'd be closer to 120. So 120 degrees Celsius has to be that one. All right, hopefully that uh, helps you out with those questions.